or needing break bets. They're shot. Like, it's bad. We went on the website. I ordered up a set of Trinity break pads for our Pro R. Um, I've never used those before, so we're going to get those installed right now. Let's dive into this. I'm going to show you how easy it is to change your brakes. It's pretty simple. You do not need a hammer, so don't grab a hammer. There's a trick to this, so pay attention. Step one, get your tools. This is a box of tool roll. It's got everything you need. Pretty cool, everything's labeled. You this that, 15 mil, blue, right there. Next step, break them loose. <clears throat> I run Loctite on my brakes. You can run Loctite if you like. Well, necessarily need to, the factory does put enough on there, it seems like. You're gonna loosen them all off, you're gonna pull the caliper off. Just gonna pull it off, just like that. Now, it's important not to, to hit the brakes inside the car right now, or you'll collapse and close your pistons, and it makes it more difficult, and at that point, um, yeah, you don't wanna do that. Just set it down. All right, so the next step is pretty simple. We're gonna pull the pads off now. You can see on the Pro R, there's actually a bolt in here now. Now on all the other models out there, right here is a set, like a set screw, but it's now in it. It's an H5. So if you don't have a Pro R and you're working on your XP or something else, you're gonna pull that out. And then we need to press right here. The pad actually pops out, rotates over, and you take it off, and you do the same for the other. Now on the Pro R, it's a little different. We're actually gonna be removing this. Like a set screw out from the back. You're gonna plunge and see how it depresses in the caliper right here. And hopefully roll this out. The install is the same as it came out, like I said before. And you have to go like this. Rolls in, come back over here to this side, depress it, slide that in, opposite. Roll it in, it's a little tight in here. You push, pops right in. Pretty much that simple. Reinstall your hardware and your backing bolt back there, your Allen set screw. Put it back on and put your bolts back in.